Hello guys, and we are back with another video and another episode of WCW Nitro. This is our fourth episode in the series for an edition of Nitro. It, I reckon it might be a decent show, might might not. We are still build it, building to the Big Bang, which is this and another Nitro away. So let's get right into it, why not? In our first pre-show bout in the 57 c minus. Rob Van Dam defeated Christopher Daniels in 740. Uh, no work improvement. Rob Van Dam had an in-ring performance for 67 and Christopher Daniels 35. All right. Next in the A64C, the insiders defeated Free Count in 547 when DDP defeated Shannon Moore by pinfall of the Diamond Cutter. Decent pre-show match, quite short, you know, as they are. And in the last pre-show match. Shane Drack and Stasiak defeated the Mamelukes when Sean Stasiak defeated the Johnny the Bull by submission. We start off the show with a 91A. Ric Flair comes out and responds to Dustin's challenge. He says, Do you know what, Dustin? You want to challenge the Nature Boy for the Big Bang? You're on! And he says, he says more, but I can't emulate a <coughs> Ric Flair promo. So, yeah. That's a booked in match for for Big Bang. Oh my god. I, I I don't really like that name for Big Bang. It's just eh just doesn't sound good, I don't reckon. Uh yeah. That's booked in, ninety one eight, strong start to the show. And a seventy two B minus thing defeated Fit Finley. In 1066 by submission of the Scorpion Deathlock. During the match, we also had AJ Styles run in and attack Finley. AJ Styles getting some retribution for what Finley did to him last week, attacking him for not a very good reason. Not a very good reason at all. But next, 84B plus Sting warns his Big Bang opponents, telling them that he is the only one that, well, he is the only one that's in contention for that title shot. He will win and he will be number one contender by the end of this month. H four B plus, decent, decent, quite good. Next, forty four D Young Dragons defeated America's Most Wanted in three fifty one. Just a, just a match to you know kill some time. Decent, not bad. I haven't used. Uh, I think the only person that I've used in a actual episode of in an actual episode of Nitro. Um, well, is Kaz Hayashi last week, and I haven't used any other of these three, so yeah, good to get him on the show. 34 E plus a video shown showing highlights of a certain wrestler. After after a while, the video ends, and the wrestler comes up and says it's clobbering time, and this is obviously to promote the debuting CM Punk. Yep, he's signed, and he will be debuting soon. Next, 57C+, plus. Chuck Palumbo defeated Landstorm. Obviously, Chuck Palumbo won half of the current uh, tag team champions, and Landstorm won half of the challengers. Yeah, uh, Landstorm outperforming Chuck Palumbo. Not a big shock, to be fair. Chuck Palumbo is still quite green at this point, I'm pretty sure. Sorry if, any, if you can hear any noise in the background. Um, and Landstorm, yeah. And Storm is quite a good in-ring performer. So 67 C-plus, good match. Next, 56 C-minus. Shane Douglas talks about Conan and talks about um, how Co uh, Conan's decision to challenge him to a match at the Big Bang was the worst decision he's ever made. He's, he hasn't won in two matches. And if he keeps challenging Shane Douglas, those losses will start piling on. 56 C minus promo from Shane Douglas. Yeah, Layson. 59 C. John Cena. Uh, it's a vignette, you know, hyping up John Cena. Yes, John Cena, the franchise of the WWE, is signed for WCW in 2001. And just the vignette, hyping him up, you know, got uh, his cocky youth gimmick, got a initial rating of great. Which is great. <laughs> uh, next, 60C in about bad decent wrestling, but uh, actually Chavo Guerrero uh, Jr. defeated Shane Helms in 9:33 by pinfall by using underhanded tactics. 
Pato cheating his way to victory. Chavo Guerrero gets put into the match. And yeah, now it's now a triple threat match for the Cruiserweight title. Shane Helms, Elix Skipper, and Chavo Guerrero. Let's get that booked in. Yep. Next. 88B+. Plus, Kevin Nash set, talks about the fatal four-way at the Big Bang and how uh, that match is his opportunity to get back to the top of the mountain and he will not waste it. A very good promo. The semi-main gets a 71C+. Plus. Uh, very mere, but whatever. Totally buff defeat Filthy Animals in 12.42 when Lex Luger defeated Billy Kidman by submission with a torture rack. Not a horrible match. Not the best, but yeah. 99A star Scott Steiner makes his entrance for the main event, which gets an ATB decent. Not too bad. Scott Steiner defeated Bam Bam Bigelow in 1716 by pinfall for the Frankensteiner. And we end the show off on the 85B+. Plus. Jarrett, uh, Jeff Jarrett tries to get some retribution after Scott Steiner's post-match attack from last week. But Scott Steiner outpowers him and they start brawling un uh, until they are being broken up by security. Jeff Jarrett was very underwhelming. The performance of Scott Steiner was good. The number one contender storyline was moved on. And the show gets an 84B+. Plus. This is very inconsistent. One, uh, first show B+, plus, second show B-, minus. now another B+. Plus. Let's hope we can get more of these B-pluses and Bs. Stay away from the B-minuses. Yeah, a very good show. I'll see you at the main title screen. Back now at the main title screen. Let's, let's check out our emails. You know, Brian Kendrick. We'll have to work that out. Shannon Wall booking complaint. He thinks we're booking him. Well, yeah, he's his momentum is down. Probably is. Well, we'll try work on that. But we got a 0 0.99 rating, which is up from last week. Drug test fees, 7k. And Kevin Nash's opinion is that Chavo Guerrero isn't charismatic. And we should release the kid and hire someone better. Fair enough. Uh, let's close that. Um... An incident involving Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh. He, he abuses painkillers. He's not exactly in our plans. We're just going to send him to rehab. He's improved his behaviour uh, handling this incident and is happy at this action. Nice. Uh, let's have a quick, a quick recap of the storylines. Number one contender has an 82B. Cruiserweight division is a 60C. Finley versus Styles is a 36D minus. Conan versus Douglas is a 58C minus. Rose versus Flair is an 82B. And the tag team titles are 63C plus. All decent storylines except the Finley Styles one, but you know, just one to uh, ever like elevate Styles here. Uh, yeah, next week we'll have our first go home show. That'll be decent. For now, please like subscribe and bye.